Today in Trusted Advice, Washington Trust is celebrating 220 years tomorrow. That is just remarkable. And here to tell us more about Washington Trust and its history is Elizabeth Eckel. She is the Senior Vice President and Chief Marketing and Corporate Communications Officer. Good morning and welcome back. Good morning, Michaela. Thanks for having me. We love when we have live guests yeah, here, thank given you. the thank time. You. And it's, it's great to be out and outside. Yeah, the banner says it all. You're celebrating 220 years. Take us back in time and give us sure, an idea of Washington sure. Trust history. We have a pretty amazing history. Um, we were founded in 1800 um, by local merchants on both sides of the Pocketuck River. We were founded in Westerly, mm -hmm. and these gentlemen had to decide, do you charter the bank in Westerly or in, Conne in Rhode Island or Connecticut? Yeah. And they decided on Westerly. And uh, we were named after George Washington. He had died in 1799. Mm -hmm. So um, we were the first to print money with George Washington on it because back then there wasn't currency. Really? So we printed banknotes and um, the, the uh, founders of the bank hired a gentleman, an engraver, a famous engraver named Amos Doolittle, who was the Paul Revere of Connecticut, I guess, and um, he had never done portraits. He did all the little swirly engravings, mm -hmm. um, but um, we sent people down to Pennsylvania. They bought copper plates and he engraved them and we have the original copper plates and the original bills and there's copies of those bills those banknotes in the Smithsonian Museum so wow. it's pretty neat it's a little piece of Rhode Island in there yeah, that exactly. is remarkable I had no idea and of course they give it to someone who's never done a portrait before so exactly. I guess they had a lot of faith that's for sure you have a lot of other cool things at the bank as well or you did at, at, at some point in time um, and and that brings us up to uh, Howdy Doody Howdy Doody. What's going on there? Howdy Doody. What's the connection? Puppeteer, a little puppet from the, I think it was the 50s. Mm -hmm. He was in our vault. There was a puppeteer um, who owned him, okay. who created him and owned him and lived in Connecticut and banked with us. He kept him in a vault in the basement. And the word is that, <laughs> that if you're in the bank at night, he would come out and you could hear his little footprints. But no, I don't think that's true. <laughs> but um, We love those he stories, was though. Eventually, um, it was eventually transferred um, to the Detroit Museum. They have Kermit the Frog and they have other puppets there. Wow. And so the puppeteer came out and he brought him out into the boardroom. They took him out into this little case and he did the little little marionette. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. His, his cowboy boots were about this big. So you, and, uh, you've had a lot of history, you know, a lot of, in addition to Howdy Doody, a lot of famous names have actually entered the bank. Albert Einstein was Albert that? Einstein used to summer in Watch Hill, and um, word is that he came into the bank to cash a check or two during his visit. So, um, yeah, quite, quite the history. Um, I'm also reading, too, there was a bit of social distancing even back, uh, you know, in the, in the beginning. Back in those days, the teller cages were big brass teller cages, yeah. and um, there was no talking. It was a very business-like atmosphere. You had to really keep your distance. And so now, now that we've uh, we're back to social distancing again, we have plexiglass to keep the tellers and to keep um, our customers safe. That is remarkable. Um, you mentioned George Washington prior to. Uh, we also have another president that we should mention, and that's John Quincy Adams. John Quincy Adams. I don't know that he, he must have come to the bank. Um, there was a lot of traveling back then. We actually have a bill on display in our main office that he had signed, because back in the day, they were much more like checks. And um, if they needed to get wow. money, they would have to endorse it and give it to us. So we actually have his signature on a bank note on display at the bank. It, and it really, and it has been named one of the best banks um, over the years by Forbes. By Forbes, we just recently named the best bank in Rhode Island, Great. and we've been the best, named the uh, one of the top places to work in Rhode Island by Province Business News for 10 years in a row. Um, clearly, 220 years, you know, you're doing something right. How are you celebrating this year? I'm sure you uh, wish there could be a big we've bash. We've done lots of things. We've had Billy Gilman at the, in the town square with a giant cake. We've had uh, Chef Taran come and do cherry uh, cherry pie tastings mm -hmm. and you know with social distancing we want to do some customer appreciation we're doing some celebrations with small businesses um, because we want to help get the economy going right and uh, so we're doing some things with small businesses some customer appreciation and um, that's you know we'll do what we can to keep everybody safe safe and healthy and have some fun mm -hmm. and then we'll have a big celebration at another time when Sometime. it's safer. Sometime. Yes, it's safer exactly. Well, here's to 220 more. Congratulations. Thanks so much. If you would like a link to Washington Trust, you can go to roadshow.com. While you're there, just click on Trusted Advice.